Let's bring in our fantasy football expert, Heath Cummings, now. When Heath, all those big points are nice, but if you had Aaron Rodgers last night, you have some big problems. You also have zero points there on your box score. Rodgers was started in about 45% of CBS Sports League, so his injury, it will be felt around the league, but you also look at guys like Garrett Wilson and Alan Lazard. You look at running back with Brees Hall, maybe Dalvin Cook. Now with Zach Wilson and as QB for the Jets, how do you view this situation for these other notable offensive Jets players? I mean, it feels like an absolute disaster if you drafted Garrett Wilson in round two. We spent the entire offseason talking about how good Garrett Wilson was last year when he wasn't playing with Zach Wilson. Then we got Aaron Rodgers. It was the big upgrade. And you even saw it last night, the spectacular touchdown catch from Garrett Wilson. First, he had to take the ball away from the defender who Zach Wilson actually threw it to. So I think it's a, it's a bad thing for Wilson. He'll still be a starter, still a high-end number two wide receiver, but not the number one we draft him to be. Alan Lazard, most likely will be droppable. The interesting thing from last night is it might be good news for the running backs. 38% of the Jets passes went to Brees Hall, Dalvin Cook, or Michael Carter last night. So I do think that, I mean, you saw how good Brees Hall looked. We were discounting him because of that ACL. His upside, especially in the second half of the season now, is immense. And there's a path because they'll go more run heavy for both Cook and Brees Hall to be starters in the future. Let's do a little bit of waiver wire Tuesday now and see who folks should be targeting right now for their fancy teams. Let's start with QBs. Who should they be looking at? Yeah, I mean, if you're looking to replace Aaron Rodgers, Brock Purdy, Jordan Love going to be at the top of most people's list. Sam Howell available in more than six percent of leagues though and I don't want to overlook him just because his first game in a new system wasn't as good as we expected I still think that Hal could be the best of the three on this list but if you're looking for a starter specifically for week two you're probably going with Brock Purdy first who continued to do the thing he's done since he took over as the starter a couple of touchdown passes per game it makes things a lot easier when you've got Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, George Kittle, Christian McCaffrey and oh yeah Kyle Shanahan calling plays so Purdy, Hal and Love or the top three there. What about running backs? It's absolutely Kenneth Gainwell. One of the shocks of week one, him dominating the touches out of the backfield for the Philadelphia Eagles. DeAndre Swift, even when he got the opportunity, and it wasn't often, didn't look like he's ready to take the job away from Gainwell. I would expect Gainwell to be similar to what Miles Sanders was last year, a low-end number two running back. Should be close to 100% rostered by the time this week's over. And then in deeper leagues, Kyron Williams, Justice Hill, both get a big boost. I do think that Williams is going to be the number one running back for the Rams. The question is, how real was that week one performance and how comfortable are you starting him in week two against the 49ers? I'm not at all. What are we talking about for receivers? It's another Ram, Puka Nakua, absolutely dominating targets. How often do we see rookies at the top of the charts in week one in terms of team target share? It's exactly what we saw this week with Zay Flowers and Puka Nakua dominating their team's targets. Nakua is a starter for the next three weeks until Cooper Cup returns, and then he still is going to be worth a roster spot, maybe even a flex once you get Cup back. Jacoby Myers, one guy to mention there with an asterisk. He's available in 35% of leagues. If that concussion is something he can overcome this week, he should also be a 90% roster guy. Nakua available in 93% of the league, so folks get out there and make those roster moves immediately. Thank you so much, Heath Cummings, waking up with us. And you can uh, always check out Heath on Fantasy Football today. Listen to the guys at FFT. Get your team right and get some dubs over there for Fantasyland.